hello guys welcome to my today's video today we are making bread let's get straight into it i have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour i've added one and a half teaspoons of instant yeast then i'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar salt half a teaspoon then mix all my ingredients together and i've added two tablespoons of oil and cracked an egg to it and i'm going to add warm water make sure you're using warm water to warm water helps in activating your yeast and i'm going to mix this up until it forms a stiff dough guys if you're using uh, dry yeast make sure to activate your yeast do not mix dry yeast straight into your flour otherwise it will not uh, work your dough will not rise my dough has come together then i'm going to transfer it to a lightly flooded surface then i'm going to knead this for at least eight minutes or until the flour does not stick to my hands make sure guys you work that yeast it is very important to knead the dough for at least eight minutes so that the yeast can be fully activated then i'm going to transfer my dough to my oiled um, bowl and we're going to cover and let this rest for one hour at least one hour in a warm place i like to keep mine in my oven with the just the light on here is our dough after one hour you can see it's risen it has doubled in size going to punch out that air in the dough then transfer it to a clean surface I'm going to divide by my dough into two equal parts so that it can fit well in my tin then I'm rolling out the first dough pressing in to get that air out of the dough then I'm going to roll up my dough as I press in to get out that excess air. This uh, will assist in ensuring your dough does not have air pockets, that your bread does not have air pockets inside. Then I'm going to pinch the ends so that once my bread breaks, they cannot separate like so. Pinch the ends like so. Then I'm going to put this into my lightly oiled baking tin. I'm using a glass baking tin. You can use whatever you have. And I'm going to repeat the same process with the other dough. Guys, please do not skip this step. It is very important in, in your bread making. It will help your bread to be consistent and not have air pockets inside Then I'm going to let, let this rest for at least one hour or until it doubles in size. One hour and 30 minutes later, my dough has risen and doubled in size. I'm going to put this in my preheated oven, preheated at 180 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. And 40 minutes later, here is my bread all done. I'm going to let this rest. And I'm going to transfer it to a rack to cool down overnight. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.